Hi guys, just a quick update on the latest status with my Voron. Uh, been printing a lot of ABS. I've got the ball bearing um, spool set up. This is tough. Uh, the Ultimate Spool Holder Plus Plus. You can get it on Thingiesverse or Printables, one of the two. But it 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 uh, feeds the filament real nicely. Nice filament path. And the only trouble I had was uh, when the filament goes low, gets low, like less than 10% remaining, it gets too light and it pulls off the spool holder completely. So I've actually designed a box that will hold it um, so the whole spool won't come out. Now later on I'm going to eventually make a dry box for this particular spool. Uh, but for right now I just need something that won't um, pull it out. That's one of the problems I've had. Um, other than that, I'm using actually... I was not using a bed mesh, but I'm using it for larger objects um, because my range is about 0.08 millimeters difference between different parts of the bed. So I did start using the uh, mesh and it's just printing flawless now for larger objects. For smaller objects, I don't think you need it, uh, but for larger objects, obviously there's going to be a huge difference between the left, right, front and the back. So I use it, started using a bed mesh and uh, the way I do it now is instead of doing it on every print, if you're, if you're going to be printing the same uh, ABS, just heat soak. For example, for my ABS, I'll heat soak it to 115 degrees. Uh, that's what I have for uh, ABS and it will stick really well. And I'll heat soak it until it's about, I don't know, the in in internal temperature is about 30, 32, 34. Um, and then I will do a, a calibrate uh, bed mesh and I'll just save it and I'll just use that. I, I won't do it on every print because it's always the same. I've, I've done this test a bunch of times and the bed mesh doesn't change much. As long as you heat soak it, you're using the same temperatures. Um, so just do it once and then you should be able to use the same bed mesh uh, over and over. So that saves some time when you uh, start printing. But printing beautifully, um, you'll have more updates. But I actually printed the Nevermore and Pet G, and it's it's completely like melted away. So that's why I'm printing another one in ABS, which I should have. Uh, but I thought it would it wouldn't affect it so much. But then then again, you know my bed um, bed is running now because before I was only gonna print Pet G and TPU. So my bed. Um, uh, temperature was only around 50 to maybe at most like 85 90 but now I'm running at 115 degrees for printing ABS and I you know now I need a nevermore that will stand up um, to those temperatures so um, I've also gonna test out some PC uh, carbon fiber that I have that I ordered from Perusa a long time ago and I've also got some uh, polycarbonate uh, which is very similar to ABS. I, I did a, a quick strength test and I didn't see a huge improvement. Um, but yeah, we'll test out those two. But looking great. Uh, Voron looking great. Uh, my rat, rat rig is also running really good. Um, yeah, just an update. Have a great day.